this is what I have for the rhino iguanas right now. This was just a temporary hide and I didn't really need a laying box at the time. It's about to be laying season for these guys. We need to make sure that they have somewhere to lay their eggs. Because we wouldn't want these guys to get egg bound, which means pretty much the egg just gets stuck inside of them. Haven't actually ever seen dino breeding with them. But even if they don't breed, the rhino iguanas, the females, can lay eggs. This girl over here actually laid already once for me last year. She didn't have a male at the time, so the eggs weren't fertile. But hopefully this year we'll have some fertile eggs, thanks to Dino's help. What I'm planning on doing is something very similar to this. With the cinder blocks, I'll make a little box and just fill it up with sand. Put a bunch of soil and a bunch of sand because if it's just the soil, it'll be a little bit too loose. So the sand, when it mixes, it makes it a lot more moldable. So put this Opuntia cactus plant here so that these guys could get some of the pads. Three days later. She's been going crazy digging here and in here. Let's see if she'll hopefully lay some eggs. She'll be a first time layer, so 90% chance they'll be infertile. Hopefully Dino's been doing his job. I came to check the rhinos and check it out. She finally laid her eggs and it looks like she's hungry. Look at this freaking skinny girl. I'm so excited. Unfortunately, I mean, I don't think you guys can really tell, but it is raining. You can hear it for sure. But I honestly don't even care. Let's just collect these eggs. I'm very excited to get my first rhino iguana eggs. While they have eggs, they do not eat. So I'm sure she's looking for something to eat. Let's go ahead and collect the eggs and we'll give them a bowl of food as well. Massive hole that she dug to cover up her eggs. I imagine her eggs are on this side. Let's go ahead and see and start digging here. Hopefully she doesn't get defensive. It looks like she's still digging down there. Oh, here she comes. Let's see, is she gonna get upset at me? She's a really good girl, so I don't think she'll get mad. Let's see, I do wanna find these eggs and she for sure laid because you guys can obviously see the difference. finally found the eggs and she has behaved amazingly she has been she did come up and she was trying to dig it up while i was uncovering them and these eggs look amazing can't wait to see if they're actually fertile i've never hatched out iguana eggs it's my first time ever getting some iguana eggs well um i've had eggs but they have been first time layers so they've all been infertile but these so far are the best looking iguana eggs I have ever gotten. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully they'll be fertile. This is the, definitely the best established group that I have. Only problem is I just put them together. And like I mentioned, this one is a first time layer according to the previous owner. So we will see. These eggs look amazing. I'm very excited about this clutch and look at this this girl is so good she has not tried biting me at all she's been just trying to cover up her eggs and of course she's trying to protect her eggs but she knows i'm not doing anything bad that's why she trusts me and she's letting me do all this she as you can see is not freaked out not stressed out at all that i am doing this she is definitely just curious and she's kind of like just covering it up and trying to fix what I'm doing, which of course I'm gonna help her put it all back together after so that she feels comfortable and thinks that her eggs are still in here. Looks like that is it. Seven beautiful rhino iguana eggs. Let's go ahead and put them in the incubator and see what happens. So I filled it up again. She is still there messing around with the dirt. I'm sure she's gonna be doing this for a while. This happens with a lot of animals. I see it with the tortoises a lot. Here are her eggs, the most beautiful iguana eggs that I've ever gotten. They definitely look fertile to me. I am a novice at this. This is my first clutch of iguana eggs that looks good. We will see what happens. Now it's time to put all of these eggs into the vermiculite so that we could incubate them. And hopefully in three months, we'll have some beautiful little rhinoceros iguanas hatching out. Now it's time to put these guys in the incubator. I just came to do some maintenance on the iguanas. I cleaned up their food bowl. I refreshed all their water. 
and check out what I found. Looks like this girl laid some more eggs and I just found them in the bottom of the cinder block down there. Now it's been two weeks since I put this clutch in the incubator. This is the second clutch and just to clarify, that was from the second iguana, not the first one. I kind of made it seem like it was from the same one. Here are the eggs from the first one. They're still looking good. This one over here is kind of sinking in a little bit. Not sure why, hopefully it's still good. Although I might have to pull that one out, we'll have to see. The other ones are still looking nice and plump. I have been candling both of these and I do see veins, so all of these are fertile. They both laid seven eggs. These just looked better from the start. There was two from this one that were just soggy and completely infertile, I could tell from day one. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully these guys hatch out. Make sure you guys subscribe to Shadows Reptiles so you don't miss out. And here we have some beautiful little redfoots hatching out. 